Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And as you can see, I'm getting a lot of tomatillos. Though not quite as many as I thought I would get, I'm still getting plenty. And I have lots of salsa verde already made up from last year because we didn't end up using very much this year because I have like two, three years worth of salsa built up. And so this year I've been focusing on doing different types of things with my tomatillos besides salsa. But for now, I've been experimenting trying to make different sauces with them. And those of you who may have watched my last this and that video where I talked about the zucchini powder and a little bit about tomatillos, I talked about making a spaghetti sauce. And though it turned out, it, it was really quite good. It actually tasted better the next day. Like anything, like when you're talking about Italian sauces and chilies, they always tend to taste better the next day when they've had time to just really uh, absorb all those spices and goodness. But I found some other methods and other sauces I can make using the tomatillos that are been turning out really good and one of those things is to just take even a few uh, regular red tomatoes like here is one of my Amish paste tomatoes they finally started getting ripe so I got a couple of those here and mixing them in with the tomatillos to get a little bit redder sauce to get more of the actual tomato flavor in there and it seems to be working really good so right after I made that last video where I talked about the Italian sauce that very day I ended up making, or the very next day, I ended up making a more of an enchilada type sauce and just kind of made a casserole using zucchini. I didn't have any cornmeal at the time and so uh, I just made basically a tamale pie, and but not really. And it turned out really good for flavor so I was very pleased with the mix of the tomatoes with the tomatillos. And the ratio of tomatoes to tomatillos I used was about one part tomato and three parts tomatillo. And then a couple days later I decided to make a zucchini lasagna using the excess zucchini as a noodle replacement and then the tomatillos and make it a new another Italian sauce but with that one I decided to go ahead and go half and half. So how I did it was I simply chopped up the tomatoes and the tomatillos, threw them in my blender, and then and just processed them, put them in a pot. I added my seasonings at that point, and then I, you know, cooked it for, you know, whatever amount of time. I never really time it. I just cook it until it looks good, the color looks right. And it turned out quite good. And in that, I also added a jar, or almost a full jar, of my home canned uh, ground beef from 2015. And still just tastes wonderful. It doesn't matter that it's been sitting in there for three years. And uh, But I figured I instead of thawing some hamburger out of the freezer, that maybe I should start digging into some of my home canned hamburger meat. But really good. It turned out excellent. And so tonight what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be making another uh, Mexican type dish. And this is going to be a true tamale pie. And I'll be using the same ratio that I did the last time with mostly tomatillos and then one part, you know, three parts tomatillos and one part tomatoes to make my sauce for the tamale pie. Now I do have a video on how to make tamale pie. Since it's an older video, the picture may be a little darker because it was before we set up these lights that we still, we took out of Pat's shop and uh, to, to brighten our photo up a little bit. But I'll go ahead and link to that video right up here. So that's my full recipe. Now here's the cool thing is that I will go ahead and be uh, adding some zucchini to it, but I have cornmeal now, and that is uh, home ground cornmeal from our own corn that we grew last year. So this is the 2017 Glass Jam Popcorn. I'll be trying this for the cornbread topping on the tamale pie, and I'm really excited about that. And then another thing is I'm down to my last jar, my last pint jar, of the kidney beans. So whenever I make a big pot of chili that I like to can up, I'll fill up all the extra spaces in the canner with some kidney beans as well. Just plain kidney beans because these are what I like to use for making tamale pie 
and it's really nice to have a jar on hand. So I'm going to have to make some more, <laughs> get some more of these canned up. So whenever I'm like, oh, tamale pie sounds good and I don't have any beans soaked and ready to go, then I can have some beans <laughs> for my tamale pie. So that's what I'll be doing with that. Now, some other ideas that you can do with your tomatillos besides trying to make, you know, besides playing with it and making some different Italian sauces and sauces for your Mexican foods, whether it be enchilada or tamale or whatever it is, uh, I like to sometimes add it to, uh, to saute it up in butter with some garlic and some onions. It's a little bit different. It's kind of got a tart flavor to it, a little bit tangy. So consider that. Uh, what I find best, as you can see here in these pictures, I just use the tomatillos, a cayenne pepper, um, some red onion, and some fresh garlic from the garden. Chopped it all up and sauteed it in butter. And it was really quite good. But I prefer to actually mix it when I'm doing that with some zucchini as well because that helps break up the tanginess of the tomatillos but it makes a real nice side dish as a vegetable me i'll eat something like that just for lunch that'll be my lunch i like doing stuff like that or you can even serve it over rice or noodles or whatever you want to do and then another thing that you can do is if you've never tried it allow your tomatillos to get really ripe i mean what you want to do when you're harvesting your tomatillos this is actually the best is when they're to the point they're actually splitting the husk then they're ready but if you let them sit a little bit longer so that they turn more yellow, uh, like almost pure yellow, hardly any green left on them, they actually turn out quite sweet. They taste more like fruit and they remind me quite a bit, which makes sense, of a ground cherry. And so I'm to the point now where I can grow tomato, even though I had one year I grew ground cherries like crazy. It was two years ago when I first started my YouTube channel, August of 2016. Uh, I had uh, ground cherries coming out my ears and they were good but I had so many of them I didn't know what to do with them but uh, the last couple of years I haven't been able to get them to grow near as well as the tomatillos and so I'm probably not even going to bother with ground cherries if I get a couple that just come up on their own I may leave them but to me the tomatillos have so much more use than the ground cherries I made I did make some ground cherry apple butter with uh, that turned out pretty good with coconut sugar. It kind of has more of a caramel flavor. It's really good. But that was about the only thing I made out of them that I liked. I tried different things. I tried making a salsa. It was so-so. I even did a video on it, my salsa experiment. And it was just it was just okay. We used it up, but I wasn't crazy about it. But the tomatillos, they make a great salsa. If you keep working with your herbs and your spices and, and what flavors you like best, uh, you can come up with a really good Italian sauce, a really good Mexican sauce for going with your enchiladas and different things. Uh, I do recommend mixing in your tomatoes, though, when you're doing that. I just think it, it'll add to the flavor and make it just a little bit better. Where uh, the tomatillos do a standalone no tomatoes needed for making a good salsa verde and again if you haven't seen my salsa verde uh, recipe I'll go ahead and link to that right up here that's from last year a few other things you can do with your tomatillos that I've also done with green tomatoes so what you'll find is just about anything that you'll use green tomatoes for you can also use your tomatillos for you can make a green tomato salsa uh, you could do a fried tomatillos like fried green tomatoes so they're interchangeable in that way but you can mix your green tomatoes with your tomatillos and you can even chop them up and add them to let's say you're doing a, a beef roast or an elk roast or something and you're just wanting to throw the potatoes and all the vegetables in there like you do your carrots and onions go ahead and throw a couple of chopped up green tomatoes a couple of chopped up tomatillos and they turn out really good when it's baked into the roast like that. You can throw them into soups. They're really, um, they're really not too bad. Especially if you're using your more ripe ones where the flavor isn't quite as tangy. They add a really nice flavor baked with your roasts and chickens and things like that. So just a few ideas of what you can do with your tomatillos. And if you've been experimenting like I have or maybe you've been doing it for a long time, what are some other options you like to do with your tomatillos that maybe I haven't already mentioned? Or if I have mentioned them, 
Do you do the same thing? Have you tried making Italian sauces, Mexican sauces? Somebody in my last video mentioned a green sauce to go with chicken that sounded really good. I'm going to be doing a little bit more experimenting with the tomatillos as I go, but right now I'm really happy with what I can do with them as is with the with the salsa, with the and with the, the two different types of sauces, those are the things that I like to make the most with tomatoes anyway. And so that really is going to be a great way for me to stretch out our more limited tomato harvest. We can grow tomatillos so much better here than we can tomatoes. And so that's, I'm just really happy that I'm getting this to work and that it actually looks pretty good, especially when you're looking at your Mexican sauces. That's why I go with a lower ratio of the tomatoes because once you add your chili powder and your cumin those kind of spices like that they already give it plenty of color so you don't need as much tomatoes in that whereas with the Italian sauce you're not using so many herbs and spices that have that kind of color to it so that's why I up the ratio of tomatoes in the Italian sauce and I just think it just makes a better flavor all the way around but hardly any difference in flavor with the tomato with the half and half tomatoes to tomatillos than just plain tomatoes so this is a great option for us so if there's anyone else out there that finds that they can grow tomatillos better than they can tomatoes this might be your answer is go ahead and keep growing your tomatoes if you can at least get a few it's going to be worth it but uh, focus maybe more on your tomatillos because I can grow them outside and they do great for me outside. I do not have to do them in the greenhouse. I only have to start them in the greenhouse to give them a little bit of head start. But once I move them outside and the weather's warm enough, they do great for me. Whereas tomatoes, some people do good with some around here, but me, not so well with tomatoes outside. Now one more thing I wanted to mention is that next year I'm seriously considering trying the purple tomatillos. Now I've never tried them, I've never tasted them, I don't know the difference in flavor. I'm really curious at how those may taste and look in an Italian type sauce. I still would think you'd probably want to mix them with tomatoes, but I'm definitely going to give them a try. And if anyone has experience with the purple tomatillos, go ahead and share that with me down below. What do you think about them? What is the difference between the green and the purple to you in flavor, texture, and all that kind of stuff? And maybe if you use them differently than you do the green ones. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you learned something new. Maybe a few little tips that you can use for using up your excess tomatillos. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.